Hi, this is Julie for Beetaholic, and today I want to show you how to use a mold which we made using Easy Mold Silicone Rubber. And in a previous video, we went ahead and we actually created this mold from this plastic bangle. And so now I want to reproduce this bangle, but I'd like to do it in a different color, and I want to do it using ice resin. So to begin with, we're going to need to mix up our resin. And I'm going to, I'm going to estimate that I need about two ounces for this. So I've got my mixing cup here with measurements along the side. So I'm going to pour one ounce of part A. When you're using ice resin, you need to make sure you have equal parts of part A and part B. So now I'm going to pour one ounce of part B, which is the hardener. And I'm going to mix these together for a full two minutes until they are fully blended together. My resin is fully mixed and now I want to add some color. And you can mix colors. So I've got two transparent colors right here. I have a green and a yellow. I'm going to do two drops of green. And my yellow for some reason has lost its topper. I'm just going to do a drop of yellow. Got more than a drop in there. It should be okay though. And I can already tell that I want a little bit more green. I add another drop of green. Actually, I think I'll do two. You notice I put down some protective sheeting over my table. You always want to do that when you're working with resin and pigments. And I'm scraping the sides of my container as I go. I want to make sure this is fully blended. All right. When all striations are gone, the colors are completely blended. I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes. You have to work pretty quickly with the resin. You don't want to let it sit for too long, but I do want to let some of those bubbles come to the surface and pop on their own, especially since I'm going to be pouring this into a mold like this. All right, we've been patient. We've waited five minutes. Some of the bubbles are gone. Not all of them are. And I've actually donned a glove because I have a feeling this is going to get a little bit messy. Now, if you've seen my other resin videos, you know what I usually recommend is that you take the resin onto the stir stick and you dribble it into the mold. It's a little bit hard in a case like this, so we're actually going to pour the resin and it is going to get onto the top area as well. That's okay. We're going to be able to peel that away later. So what I want to do right now is I want to remove my stir stick and I'm going to pull back an edge of my mold. You'll see how flexible this is. And this mold did not require any mold release. I'm going to push in the sides of my cup to make a little spout. I'm going to pour my resin into my mold. I'm pausing. It might be a little bit hard to tell in the video, but what the resin is doing right now is it is seeping along the edges and filling in the cracks. I'm going to help it along a little bit. Pour some more. What I'm doing is I want it to go right up to the edge. I don't want it to go over too much. It's okay if it does. It'll just kind of crackle off for you when you try to pull this out. But I just want to make sure it's filled fully. And I know when I made this particular mold, I had a little bit of a, a clay rim around it to adhere the bangle itself to the container which I made the mold in. And so that actually gave a little bit of a lip to my bangle bracelet when I pour it. And so I know I'm going to have to sand that down anyways. So I'm up to the top. I know I'm totally fine for the actual shape of the bangle. So I'm going to let this cure fully for three days. Normally you can go ahead and start working with some resin 
after about 24 hours is hardened, but because of the nature of this mold, the fact that I'm gonna really probably have to pry the bangle out, it's gonna come out as, I'm guessing from past experience, it's gonna give me a little bit of a challenge getting the bangle itself out of the mold, just because of the rounded shape to it where it comes to a tapered point up at the top. So I wanna wait three full days before I attempt to pull this one out just to make sure that it's fully cured and I don't do any damage to the bangle itself. And then I can know I can apply some good force to it. So we're gonna be patient, we're gonna wait, and then we're gonna come back in three days. We've waited three days, and now it's time to remove our bangle bracelet from the mold. And to do so, first off, any type of resin that you have which spilled over the sides should just be able to be picked and cracked off. You might have a little, you might have a lot. Just try to remove as much as you can. All right, now we're gonna loosen the sides of the mold. To do that, just depress on the edge and work your way all the way around. We're gonna do that on the inside as well. See if we can pull it away. We're just allowing air to get in there and that's gonna help us to be able to pull the bangle out of the mold itself. The mold you made is completely reusable, so don't worry about it. You're not gonna stretch it too much, just rubber, it goes back into place. Now we're gonna to try to grab it out. To do so, I'm gonna pull down a side. I'm gonna to try to get my fingers under it. I'm going to work my way around the edge, trying to pull it out. It's going to be a little bit easier if you have a ring. The bangle is a little bit more challenging because it does have so much of the mold in the middle that you're trying to release it from. There we go. Now I wanna show you real quick, you are gonna have the smooth edge, which is where the bangle was put down into the mold as such, because of course that was molded perfectly with the original object. And then you're gonna have a rough edge. What you're gonna to wanna to do with this rough edge is you're gonna to wanna to take a file and you're gonna to wanna to sand it down. I would suggest wearing a mask when you do this. You don't want any of the resin to get into your lungs. You don't wanna be breathing it but you're gonna carefully go along the edge and remove the rough edge. It took me about 15 to 20 minutes of sanding, but I was finally able to get that rough edge all smoothed down. And as you can see, it's now flush, so we have the complete bangle. And it's really nice and smooth. And I made sure that I actually sanded within the interior edge as well, so that when you put the bangle onto your wrist, it's smooth, there's no sharp edges. And as you can see, we now have an exact duplicate of our original bangle bracelet, which we molded out of resin.